Hey Food Foresters, Amy here. And today I'm going to show you how we dehydrate our bananas. Now, these are all the bananas from leftover from one of the racks. Um, we've been freezing them and I'll show another video on how we freeze them. But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut these up, put them on my rack, put the scraps in a bag for composting. And then over here I have my Excalibur food dehydrator and all the cats are just everywhere and the dog. <laughs> so um, with the bananas, you want the temperature of your dehydrator at 135 and it can take anywhere from six to 12 hours to get them to where they're nice, hard, crispy, um, sometimes they'll be a little bit tacky, but that's okay. Um, you just want to try and get as much moisture as you can out. Um, the drier, the better. And then what I do is I will put these in a can, and then I have an air, um, a thing that sucks the air out of my mason jars. Will you two stop it? You're interrupting my video. Halloween does not like Cooper at all. Hi, Cooper. Sit. Good boy. Are you my good boy? No, no paw. Yes. No. Silly puppy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the camera set up so I can show you guys this process. Okay, guys. Got my bag for my compost. I'll be putting all the banana peels into there. And then you just want to take the banana, obviously peel it. And just make sure you get all the all stuff off of it. And then I just slice them into little bite-sized chunks. It does not have to be perfect. And then you can always do a taste test too. So now sometimes if you can't get the banana peeled, you can take your knife and score it. Another good looking one. Same thing. I'm gonna now there also are plenty of recipes online that you can look up if you want to season them do something a little bit extra I don't um, whenever I'm cutting up something like this like bananas and apples um, yes it will probably turn brown in the dehydrator which that's fine um, but I don't worry about it because it's for my family it's not like I have to be presenting this even though I do like my food to look nice I'm more like, um, I like to try and stay away from any anything extra because I just want the flavors. There are, is a recipe that you can use like um, lime, and, uh, lime juice and some water. That way it doesn't cause the browning. But I'm okay with that. It's perfectly fine if you don't want to do that. There's really no wrong way when it comes to processing stuff the way you want it just make sure you're doing your research and you read up and you make sure that whatever the recipe calls for you do it the way it's supposed to be done all right now these are my drying racks i have five total the um, excalibur one i have is for five slots and then all i'm going to do is just 
take those banana slices, make sure you give them a little bit of room. And if you feel the need that you still want to cut them again or slice them a little bit thinner, you can do that. Just remember, the thicker they are, the longer it's going to take to dehydrate. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some more bananas and then I'm gonna show you a full wreck. All right, got it all done. And like I said, you wanna leave space in between what you're dehydrating so that way airflow goes all the way around. Now, let me go get the um, cover undone. And we're gonna take it to the dehydrator. Very carefully. And gotta get it lined up. Slide it in. And as you can tell, got all my bananas in there. The cover just sits on. And now, I'm going to turn it on to 135. There we go. All right, guys. And we will be back in a few hours. I'm going to let this go for six hours, and then I'm going to uh, test it out and give you guys a look and see if it has to go longer. Six hours later. Okay, guys, it's been a little while, so we're gonna take the lid off. I'm gonna leave it running. I'm gonna take a look at these. See how they shrunk? They're still, as you can tell, they're not crisp. They're flexy. Yeah, they still taste a little mushy in the middle. Yeah, see how they're still flexible. Yeah. Not quite there. So I'm probably going to let it go all night, and we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, it is the next day, so let's see. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Super thin. Not really flexible, so that means a lot of the moisture is out. They're a little sticky when you eat them. Okay, they are ready. Let's do this. All right, guys, here's my end result. This is a um, quart size freezer bag. It's filled to the brim. I had a hard time zipping it up. I got as much air as I could out of it. Um, this will probably last us just a few days, <laughs> but all five trays fit into one of these. Uh, Donald loves to snack on these. I give them to his, um, for his uh, lunches at work. I like snacking on them. Braden likes them. Um, Laura will eat them, um, but right now she just had her wisdom teeth taken out, so she's, um, 
you know, not really able to chew anything that's chewy or sticky right now or, or hard. But eventually she'll get there. So, like I said, easy way of doing this. And just a side note, I've never done these in the oven. Um, I live in Florida. That's my oven until we can get it into the wall unit. Once we get the walls fixed, um, we're putting up drywall. But um, I've never... Uh, Never done anything in the oven for dehydrating, so you'll have to look that up for yourself. Um, with it being Florida, it just, it's too hot. You know, we're pretty much summer, about nine months out of the year or so. But with that said, if you get a dehydrator, just follow the instructions. They all have in the back of the manual or a little separate pamphlet on what to do with your dehydrator and how long. And you just go like this one, Normally it takes six to 12 hours. It took almost, let's see, I started at about 11 o'clock yesterday morning. It's almost 11 now, so almost 24 hours for this. All right, guys, remember, grow something for your family. Hey guys, if you like that video, hit that like button, remember that bell and subscribe. And if you wanna see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.